Good Wednesday evening to you, Richard Scott here for the local forecast update. Finally got some rain chance coming in on Thursday. Then it gets a lot cooler. Fall air will finally be here as going to Friday through the weekend. No rain today organized across the state, although there were a couple of sprinkles reported across northwest Alabama earlier this morning and in the early afternoon hours. So those are long gone now. A few puffy cumulus clouds still out there. In fact, we'll have that partly cloudy sky for tonight. And we need some rain bad. Here's the latest drought situation. We've got a severe to extreme drought across much of central Alabama. Exceptional drought for portions of east Alabama near Anniston up into the Rome, Georgia, and Chattanooga, Tennessee area. And then uh, Lamar County, west Alabama, got that extreme drought there. So uh, rainfall deficits were about 9.5 inches behind in Tuscaloosa. 13 inches behind in Anniston. That's how much rain we'd have to get right now just to catch us up to average. And that will not happen for a while as we will likely continue pretty dry around here. Temperatures topping out in the upper 80s to low 90s. Another record-breaking day. Upper 80s in Tuscaloosa, 90 in Birmingham, 90 in Anniston, 91 in Montgomery. All of those either tying or breaking the old records for this date, this time of the year. Forecasts going to the day on Thursday. Look for a chance for a few scattered showers and thunderstorms after lunch. A better rain chance after 3 p.m. Even then, I don't expect it to rain everywhere, and I don't expect it to rain all day. Most of the day is going to be dry for Thursday. The better chance Thursday evening into early Thursday night. Temperatures topping out in the upper 80s on Thursday. So here's our forecast model, and we'll take in through the overnight hours. Mild and muggy tonight. Light south breeze going calm, and there could be a couple of showers in the morning over far west Alabama. I don't think we'll see a lot there, but after lunch, here comes those scattered showers and thunderstorms. Notice our forecast model showing several waves of showers and thunderstorms moving across the state. Unfortunately, not everybody will get rain, and I do expect much of west Alabama to get at least some rain, but on average, about a quarter inch expected. That will not do a lot to help the drought situation, but hey, we'll take whatever we can get. It does turn noticeably cooler, by the way, on Friday. Football weather on Saturday. Alabama taking on Texas A&M at Bright Diddy Stadium. 2.30 kickoff. Plenty of sunshine. Hey, that's going to be an awesome looking fall football game. Auburn taking on Arkansas down at Jordan-Hare Stadium. A cooler game there. In fact, upper 60s at the 5 o'clock kickoff. Clear skies, halftime, and end of the game, upper 50s likely. Race weekend, Talladega. Let's check it out. Plenty of sunshine after lunch on Friday. Some morning clouds expected, but I think after about 11 or 12 o'clock, sunshine should return. Saturday, Sunday, gorgeous days. We'll top out in the 70s over at Talladega on Saturday and on Sunday. Upper 60s possible on Friday. Out in the tropics, watching a disorganized large area of cloudiness and showers and thunderstorms east of the Bahamas. Uh, there's a decent chance this becomes a tropical storm sometime in the next day or so, but right now, a lot of wind shear is battling that system. It will not impact our local weather. Forecast includes decent chance for scattered storms again late in the day on Thursday. Friday, a whole lot better. Cooler air feels more like fall. We're back in the 40s by Friday night and Saturday night. In fact, Sunday morning, some areas across northeast Alabama could have upper 30s. That'd feel pretty good. I expect temperatures to slowly warm back up early next week, upper 70s, and then close to 80 by the time we go into Tuesday and Wednesday.